Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Bondage Gone Wild with me, Jess Wild. Today we're talking about hot wax play. Now hot wax play is an incredibly popular way to play in the bedroom, but a lot of people don't know where to begin. With so many different types of candles out there on the market, it's impossible to know just off the top of your head where to start. So I'm going to break it down for you today and explain the difference between a massage candle, a bondage candle and your regular household candles. Firstly, I'm going to show you the massage candle. This is a great place to start if you're brand new to any kind of wax play at all. Massage candles usually look a bit like this. They arrive in their own container, a bit like a tea light. The reason for this kind of design is because the wax that's used in a massage candle is designed to melt at a much lower temperature. Because of this, it does mean that it melts to a liquid very quickly, so as soon as you've lit it, you kind of need something to literally contain it. I'm going to light this one and let it burn while I explain to you a little bit more about this so that you can see exactly what it turns into. Whilst that sits and melts, I'll tell you a little bit more about massage candles. So as I've said, they do melt down to a liquid, and the idea with a massage candle is it actually melts to a massage oil, which you can rub into your partner's skin. Unlike using a standard massage oil, this oil is gonna be nice and warm because it's been recently melted. This can make a romantic massage even more soothing because unlike having a cold oil hit your skin, this is warm when it touches you. It's probably warmer than your partner's skin is already, which can also help to relax those muscles. The oil that the massage candle produces is designed to be rubbed into your partner's skin, so they're very often infused with nourishing ingredients that are actually beneficial to your partner's skin. And on top of that, they usually smell great too. Unlike bondage candles, massage candles are designed for full sensory titillation. They put a warm glow into the room, they smell amazing and they genuinely moisturize your partner's skin. They are not designed for any kind of pain play. This is more about relaxation and the soothing aspect of massage. Okay so my candle's been sat there lit for about five or so minutes now and we are getting a nice little puddle in the middle here. I can't show you without it spilling everywhere but I'm going to pour it onto my hand just to show you exactly what that's like. This doesn't seem like much but it's really warm. As you can see, it's sort of like a clear, runny liquid. And if I rub this into my hands and show you, it leaves me sort of like kind of glossy and shiny, as you'd expect with a, any other massage oil. It smells amazing. And basically, it sort of sits on the skin just long enough that you can give a really good massage, but it doesn't stay on the skin forever. So rather than having to wash it off, your body will just gradually absorb that oil and um, it'll thank you for it too. No pain, all the gain. To top it all off, when you're done playing, all you need to do is blow out your candle and wait for it to return to a solid. Pop the lid back on and it's good to go another time. The next candle I want to tell you about is the bondage candle. So this is also designed for erotic play, but it's quite different to your massage candle that I've just shown you. Bondage candles tend to look a little bit more like a traditional household pillar candle. So something a bit like this. As you can see, it doesn't really look any different to any other sort of dinner table candle doesn't smell of anything and it's got a regular wick. What makes bondage candles different to household candles is the fact that they still burn at a slightly lower temperature than an everyday candle. Having said that, they do burn a lot hotter than a massage candle. Bondage candles are not suitable for massage. The reason for this is because when you light a bondage candle, it does still melt down to a liquidy wax, but unlike the massage candle, which can be then moisturized into the skin, this actually will cool back to being a solid. What this means for kinky play is you can use several different colors of wax to create some really cool and interesting patterns. Our bondage boutique set comes with three different colors, so you can actually experiment with the black, red, and purple, try layering, try going as thick as you like. As I said, bondage candles do burn at a higher temperature than a massage candle, so these are designed designed for slightly more intense sensation play. Hold the candle far enough away from your partner's skin so as not to cause any permanent damage, but the idea is they will feel a little bit of pain, but as soon as the wax cools, that should be alleviated. So it's about short, sharp pain that doesn't last very long. To give you an idea of what to expect, I have lit one of these bondage candles. I'm gonna pop it on the back of my hand so that not only you can see sort of my reaction to it, but also so you can see how the wax actually cools on the skin afterwards. Now you're supposed to hold this at least 18 inches away from the skin. The further you hold it away, the cooler the wax will be by the time it reaches you. Okay. 
Okay, so I've put a few drips on the back of my hand, which you can see here. As you can see, it maintains the color of the wax on the skin, just as I said, so you can layer up different colors if you want to. It's cooling really quickly. It is a lot hotter to the skin than the massage candle, but at the same time, I don't feel like it's burning me. I held it far enough away from my skin that it hasn't hurt me in any way. It might leave a slight reddish patch underneath the skin just because it is hot, but we kind of want that. We're trying to make the skin sensitive. I'm just going to tense up my hand so you can actually see it sort of it peels off of your skin. And this in itself can be part of play. Drop tip, shave before you play with hot wax. It's a little bit pink from the temperature, it's a little bit pink from pulling out my hairs and from rubbing, but it doesn't hurt at all. All it's done is draw blood to the surface of the skin and made me extra sensitive in this little area right here. And finally, household candles. Now, really, generally speaking, you shouldn't use household candles in the bedroom. Not unless you're extremely experienced in this type of play, and even then, it's not really recommended. Household candles burn even hotter than a bondage candle, so they can leave permanent marks. Potentially, you might be left with actually a serious burn. Burns aren't fun, no matter who you are. Um, it can be really quite painful for days afterwards, and you could do yourself some long-lasting damage. So there you have it, the main differences are massage candles burn at a low temperature, melt to a complete liquid and are absorbed into the skin, and they are not designed for any kind of pain play. Bondage candles burn at a higher temperature to a massage candle, is not designed to massage into the skin, so peels back off again, and is designed for moderate pain play. Household candles, on the other hand, are not designed for this kind of play at all. Really, they should be limited to just lighting the room and creating the ambiance you're looking for. My best advice is just to keep them to that and not to bring them into the bedroom. Have you tried wax play? I'd love to hear from you. Let me know how it went for you. As I say every week, don't forget to subscribe. We post new videos every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. See you next week. Bye.